Hello everybody and welcome back to a bit of a different video that I've got for you all today. You can see that uh, we got a bit of a different view here. This is my studio set that uh, you guys see fairly often in all of these videos where I'm doing something with the 98 PC or with the $5 Packard Bell or with just the various projects that we get into on this desk over here. But I've never really shown you guys the entire set and if I back up here you can see that uh, this is it. You got this table right here. We got these two studio lights up here and we've got some other, you know, microphone stands and tripods and all sorts of other stuff. We've got some things on the floor here. But the reason that I'm showing you guys this is because today's video is going to be focused on an upgrade that we're going to be doing to this uh, studio. And this actually started at like two o'clock this morning when I got the random idea of, you know what, I should, uh, well, I actually started working on a project with the 98 computer and I posted a tweet of that uh, last night or technically early this morning. I was installing Windows 7 on it and I'll kind of keep the reasons for that uh, a mystery for now, but if everything goes to plan, you guys will see a video featuring that uh, pretty soon here. But yeah, I was installing Windows 7 on this thing and I was, you know, cleaning up some stuff. You can see that I've got a bunch of stuff laid out here, but I, I was trying to, you know, organize some stuff and then I Notice this Ethernet cable that I had put on top of the 98 computer and it's actually in that photo over on Twitter. And that Ethernet cable actually uh, previously ran to my Steam link. Yes, I have one of those. And I ran an Ethernet cable from my computer to the TV uh, in this room so that I could watch Netflix or you know whatever. That's actually what I use it for. I didn't really use it to play games. I actually used it to uh, to watch uh, TV shows. Well, just stuff on Netflix and occasionally Amazon Prime. And the Steam Link. Long story short, it would just behave very erratically because uh, it would like to forget that it was connected to my computer every like other time that I would turn it on, and I'd have to go to my computer and disable the. Uh, network adapter that I was using for it and then re-enable it and it was just a pain so I just ended up getting a fire TV stick for that TV and calling it a day so then I had this Ethernet cable that I wasn't using and last night as I was sitting here uh, installing Windows 7 I saw that and I was like you know what it would be really great if we could get a network switch over here so that I wouldn't have to rely on wireless cards for these computers that I want to get online and in some cases, like the $5 Packard Bell, it does not have a wireless card, and I don't have a wireless card to put in it. I could take out the one from the 98 PC, there is a wireless card in here, but uh, it would be nice if I could just get a Ethernet switch over here, and I've got, I mean, this is one Ethernet card right here, I believe I've got some other ones that I could put in this $5 Packard Bell, I'm pretty sure it doesn't have one. Uh, it has a modem, but I'm, I'm sure it doesn't have an Ethernet card. And, uh, you know, Ethernet, uh, a wired connection, is more reliable than wireless, so I thought this would just be uh, a really good idea. And then I started the project last night, and then I decided this morning to record the rest of it on video. So what did I do last night? Well, let me switch over to my desk and I'll show you. So here we are on the other side of the room. This is where my computer desk is, and, you know, here's my main computer over here. I've got this new uh, mic stand now. I am in the process of doing some audio upgrades. And this right here is my router. You have to forgive me for the not-so-great lighting, but this is a Cisco Linksys router. And over here, we've got, obviously, the network coming in. We have that beige uh, Ethernet cables going to my computer. And we've got this black one right here, which runs across the room over to the studio. So it runs down the wall uh, with all those other wonderful cables there. And then it uh, goes to the right, and it runs behind uh, all of this stuff right here. And then it comes, you can probably faintly see it right there. That's it. And then I've got it, uh, once you actually... Uh, would begin to see it. I've got it tucked underneath the carpet here and then it runs, you know, along the wall here I just generally do that with cables uh, Having carpet is pretty useful uh, in that uh, regard because you can usually pull it up and just tuck cables underneath it So that's generally what I do But you can see here we come to a bit of a problem because this right here is a hallway So I had to come up with a few ideas uh, to get it over here to the other side I looked at running it down the hallway and then you know making a turn and then another turn and then coming back along this wall and then running over here uh, you can see that I've actually done this here's the cable over here we'll get to that in a moment uh, this is a pretty short hallway so I thought that it might be possible but it wasn't the cable was not long enough 
I looked at running it in the complete opposite direction on the other wall in the room, you know, which is behind me. And it was obviously too short for that. Uh, and then I just said, you know what, let's see if we can run it like in a straight line underneath the carpet and believe it or not, that's what I did. This wire, it comes right here. It runs underneath the carpet. It's a straight line. And yes, I was actually able to do this. It took me like six to eight different tries. I did this without fish tape. At one point I was just like, you know what, I'm going to have to go out and get fish tape tomorrow to do this because this is going to be way too difficult. But I was actually able to get this done. I think I ended at like three o'clock in the morning. Uh, and I said, okay, great, we're gonna go to bed now and then I'll revisit this in the morning. But, uh, cause this is not the easiest thing to do without fish tape because, you know, this cable is not very rigid. That's how these, that's how ethernet cables are. So when you're trying to, I mean, obviously I can't see the cable underneath here. I could feel it and that's basically what I was doing. I would have one hand over here with the, uh, with the ethernet cable and I would start feeding it underneath the carpet, you know, very, very slowly. And the cable would want to, you know, start doing this. It would want to start turning this way or going this way. And it was just very, uh, so that I'd have to like pull it back and then try it again. And I just, I just was able to get it done. Like I said, after six or eight tries, I could feel the end of the cable. And that's what I was using to judge where it was. So I would be like with one hand feeding it and then feeling where it was going. And then if it started to turn, I would, put my hand over it, pull all the slack back and just continually keep doing that. And it actually worked. I got it all the way over here. And the end was already terminated, by the way. This was not just a cat five line with no end on it or a cat six line with no end. This, this was terminated with an ethernet uh, jacket on the end. So uh, yeah, that's, that's what I did. And so this is the cable over here. You can see it comes out of the carpet and, uh, and here it is. And we've got plenty of slack to run along. I basically want to run this along the carpet here, run it along that wall, and then go right on top. And this is what you guys usually see. Uh, and then I'm going to probably put, well, you guys don't see this actually. This is my laptop, which I currently use as my recording device, essentially for recording the audio because I do use a separate microphone. I don't use the internal one on the camera because it's not that great. Uh, so I'm going to reposition this a little bit and well, I am working at getting a XLR microphone set up over here and for my uh, microphone on my computer, I'm going to be going all XLR pretty shortly here. At least that's the plan. Uh, so that'll get rid of this. I'm going to get an XLR recorder for this uh, studio over here. And this right here is the switch I'm going to be using. It is a Netgear 10 100 1000 megabits per second switch. There's the model number if you're interested. Um, I've had this for a while. I actually used to use it uh, in my old setup, but it's gonna go probably on the edge of the table here. I'm gonna you know, move this laptop, and then we're going to be able to, whenever I need to uh, plug a computer into ethernet, I don't have to run a super long cable to the router on the other side of the room. I've never have had to do that, but now we'll be able to get a, a more reliable connection over here. So. Um, I'm going to get this cable run underneath here, uh, you know, along the wall here, and then I'll come back once uh, we've got that and we're ready for the switch. All right, everybody. So we've got the cable right here. There is some slack underneath the table I'm gonna to have to work out once we get this all set up here. And right now I'm just plugging the Netgear power adapter into the wall over here. Here's our power right here. We're gonna get this guy plugged in. There we go. And then now we just gotta take our ethernet cable and plug it into one of these ports here and then kind of just tuck those behind here. So now what we obviously have to do is get another ethernet cable, plug into the back and then run it to the 98 PC. But before we can do that, we have to get a ethernet card installed in the 98 PC because it doesn't have one right now. It's got a wireless card that I installed in this video. You can go check that out up in the cards, but I've got this 3Com ethernet card right here that uh, was sent to me by a viewer, I believe. Pretty awesome. So we're gonna get this installed. I will uh, show you guys that process. It's gonna be pretty simple, obviously. And then we'll get an ethernet cable, plug everything in, and we'll see if we can browse the internet with it. You can see we've got one available slot, and I think we're just gonna 
plug it right into there. So right now we have a, we've got a modem uh, card. I believe that's the one on the very bottom. Yes. We've got the sound card and then we have my wireless card that I installed, like I said in that previous video right here. So we've got one more slot and yeah, this will fit perfectly in there. So let me get my screwdriver here. So we'll pop this metal bracket out and we're gonna take our 3Com Ethernet card and plug it right on in. And there we go guys, we've got our four PCI slots taken up, but we can always remove like the wireless card uh, if we want to install something else. So you can see on the back here that we've got uh, that new Ethernet card right above the wireless antenna there. I'm gonna actually take the wireless antenna out uh, just because, well, we don't need it right now and it's kind of in the way of the port. So let me um, get this all cleaned up because you can see it's kind of a mess right now. And uh, I'll be right back with you guys. Alright everybody, so we've got everything set back up, just again with no uh, side panels on the 98 PC. And we've got our Ethernet cable here. It's a bit long for what we're going to need, but it'll obviously work just fine. We are going to run this behind the monitor to get it out of the way, behind the speakers. And we're going to plug that in over here. So let's turn this computer on and see if it works. And yeah, like I mentioned early on in this video, this computer is running Windows 7 right now, which is definitely not the operating system that it was designed to run. It doesn't run, you know, the greatest on here because this computer has a 600, well, it actually has a 720 megahertz processor running at 600 megahertz because the motherboard doesn't, doesn't support the full speed. And it's got half a gigabyte of memory, 512 megabytes of RAM. So, it works, and I actually did not finish the entire setup last night. I turned it off uh, as it was at the uh, screen where we was going to have you set up your user account and all that jazz. All right, everybody, so here is the moment of truth. We've got everything plugged in. Let's fire up good old Internet Explorer 8, or this is 8, right? Or is it 9? I think it's Internet Explorer 8. Uh, yes, and we're going to go to, and it looks like it's loading homepage. Uh, yes, Internet Explorer 8, wonderful. So it can't display whatever that is. It didn't even detect it. What? It didn't even detect it. Well, that's interesting. All right, so it shows up in Device Manager here. You can see here it says Ethernet Controller. This is the card that is plugged in, but it doesn't have a driver installed. So we can try to update it and see if there is something uh, like a generic driver, which apparently there's not on the system that it can use. So we're gonna actually connect to the network uh, over Wi-Fi and have it download the drivers over Windows Update. All right, so we're on the network and we're going to try to update the driver once more. Okay, unable to install your ethernet controller. All right, well, great news, everybody. We got everything working. We've got the switch set up. I did some cable management down here as well. Uh, you can probably see if I zoom in, we've got a zip tie there at the bottom. There is one up here. Uh, I just zip tied the power cable for this and the ethernet cable that runs across the room uh, to the table leg. So it just, you know, blends in and well, you don't see it. So uh, the switch is right here. I gave the cables a little bit of slack so we can move it around a little bit if we want to. And this blue cable is not going to be permanent because it is a fairly long cable and uh, there's, there's too much slack. So I'm gonna get a shorter one to run to the computer itself or just have kind of set up over here. I might get one of those little cable um, holder, you know, things that you can stick on the end of your desk and then put a cable into so it will stay there without falling down. It would be a good idea to get one of those because, uh, you know, I'm going to be swapping computers every so often to the $5 uh, Packard Bell. And even if we get like a, another desktop computer or just something, just anything that we need uh, to connect to my home network over Ethernet, uh, we're going to have a way to do that. Now, as for the driver, because you guys probably saw in that last clip that Windows 7 was having a little bit of trouble with the driver getting it installed properly. Well, it wasn't able to find a driver even 
through searching Windows Update. I tried to have it search Windows Update, wasn't able to find anything. I tried installing, just manually selecting the device type as a 3COM, you know, whatever device. It didn't have this specific model number in there, so uh, none of that worked. But then I just did a little bit of research online and I found a working driver for it. And it actually comes from Dell, which makes sense because I believe the person who sent this to me said that it came out of a Dell computer. So it makes sense that Dell would offer the driver for it. And this is the um, documentation right here. And you can see that it was last revised on June 28th, 2001. So this is a driver for Windows 98 and Windows 98 SE. I believe it will work on XP as well. Well, I would assume it would because it works on Windows 7. So theoretically, we will be able to use this same driver on Windows 98, which is the OS that this machine is usually running. Uh, but it works just fine on Windows 7. Just to show you, I've got OS forms up here. I can refresh this and it will uh, load the web page no problem even in uh, Internet Explorer 8 here. And we can browse, uh, I know that the resolution is pretty low here, but we can browse like to the form rules uh, form and there we go, it's loaded, we can view the form rules. And uh, yeah, it works totally fine. And this is again, I disabled the wireless card, you can see down here at the uh, bottom right in the system tray. We've got that ethernet icon, not the wireless icon that we had before. So this is uh, running over ethernet, plugged into this switch, which is plugged into my router on the other side of the room. So guys, this was pretty awesome. I am really excited for this because this is gonna make uh, everything a lot easier as far as network stuff goes over here in the studio. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little bit of a different like vlog style video. I haven't really done a video in this style before but if you guys enjoyed it and if you want to see more like it definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up be sure to get subscribed down below and turn on those channel notifications if you haven't already to get notified whenever i upload a new video which i do multiple times every single week on this channel and as always guys i want to thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next video